Devin Nunes. Now, be honest. How many of you, if I had said that guy's name six months ago, would have known who the California congressman is? Suddenly, he's at the center of this sort of media political storm in Washington. He's being whacked like a pinata. He, of course, is the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, leading an investigation into a couple of things, uh, contacts in the past between Trump associates and Russia, but also these swirling questions of wiretapping or surveillance of Trump transition folks. And right now, uh, Nunes is under such fire that you have Democrats, including the ranking uh, Democrat on that panel, Adam Schiff, including Nancy Pelosi, including a lot of liberal commentators, saying he should recuse himself. He can't possibly be fair. He is so partisan, he needs to step aside from this investigation. Now, let's uh, stipulate one thing right up front. There's a lot of partisan politics here on both sides, naturally with Trump and Russia and all of that being at the center of this. But Nunes didn't do himself any favors uh, when he went to the White House to brief the president's staff, he said, about information he said he had picked up uh, that perhaps, not perhaps, but he said it was a fact, although he was rather vague on the details, uh, that the names of uh, Trump associates, transition people, perhaps unmasked, to use that intelligence term, have been picked up uh, incidentally, is the term of art, uh, in some surveillance, foreign surveillance by the Obama administration. Then it comes out that the, when he went to meet his secret source and get this information, it was on the White House grounds. White House says it didn't know about it. So the optics are not great. Nunes goes to the White House grounds, gets the information, then goes back to the White House to brief. And suddenly it doesn't look like he is... Uh, you know, the impartial head of a, of, a, of a bipartisan investigation. At the same time, some of the reactions to him has been completely over the top. But one thing I can say uh, without any spin whatsoever, and that is the investigation right now is stalled. It's practically paralyzed. Uh, a hearing with uh, had been scheduled this week. Top of Obama administration officials uh, has been canceled. All committee hearings or meetings have been canceled. Nothing's going on right now while this storm plays itself out. And then along comes this subplot. Sean Spicer addressed this yesterday. Washington Post report that one of the officials who was to testify at the canceled hearing, this is former acting Attorney General Sally Yates, um, was uh, in the report by the Post. The Trump administration sought to block her testimony uh, that she might say something damaging. The Justice Department got involved, the Trump Justice Department, that is, and said perhaps some of her testimony would be covered by executive privilege. Spicer says that report is 100 percent false, that the administration has no objection to her testifying, uh, went after the Post, the Post should be ashamed and all of that. Uh, now, they, all of this has become kind of a sideshow, I suppose, although eventually we'll hear from Sally Yates in some form, I imagine. But for people trying to follow this at home, it's become such a mess uh, that I think a lot of people just kind of throwing up their hands. At the center of this, presumably, is some findings about what happened with either surveillance or no surveillance of Trump and associates and or contacts improper or otherwise with Russia. There may be nothing there. Uh, some of the media are rushing to judgment. But boy, this has become the premier soap opera here inside the Beltway.